Okay, well, we've created the, uh, the hex file. Um, or actually, not a hex file, we've created the ROM file. Um, the way that the uh, compiler worked, it created a binary file. So it's all, all the bits that have to go into the, uh, into the chip. They're not in Intel hex format. Um, they're in a binary format. Um, so you need to find a programmer that can take the binary code and put it in. Uh, fortunately, this one can. This one can either take the hex file or a binary file. Um, so this is the programmer I'm going to be using. Uh, it's called the Mini Pro. Uh, if you uh, search eBay for these things, uh, they go by the name on the back here. Um, it is a uh, TL866CS um, a Mini Pro, any Mini Pro program programmer. I forget what I paid for this. Um, they aren't they aren't real cheap, but um, they aren't real expensive either. Um, but they can do. Um, uh, programmable devices, uh, some microprocessors, uh, uh, flash, EEPROMs, things like that. Uh, I use this to program the uh, 80, uh, the uh, 22v10 uh, gal part uh, for the two-phase clock. Um, so they're pretty handy. Um, and um, so we'll be uh, running the program uh, for this thing and uh, programming the uh, device uh, with the file that we just um, compiled. All right, uh, we're looking at the um, Mini Pro um, program, and um, you need to select the device that you're going to be programming. So I've already done that here, but you uh, uh, tell it which type it is. So it's a flash device. Uh, the manufacturer is SST, and you just select uh, one of the part numbers here, SST29. Uh, well, that doesn't sound familiar. Wait a minute, I think it's a 39. Uh, Yes, a 39SF. So uh, we need an SF39. Uh, F. Let's see here. Getting up my magnifying glass. Uh, SF04. 39SF04. 39 there we go. So. SST39SF04. Good. So we can put that in the programmer. And then we need to load a file. So find your Zeta2 standard ROM. Open that. And make sure it's set to binary, not hex. And you can see that's uh, put it in here. Here's the some you can kind of tell that there's something in here. Now all we have to do is push the program button, which is right here. And we are programming. Looks like it takes a while. So there's some options down here, erase before and verify after. So it erased it, then it will put it in, and then after it will read it back and check it against the file, make sure it's okay. So it'll go through a verify process after the program. So we're programming now. There we go, verifying. So it's reading back and comparing it, making sure it's all in there. And sure enough, Programming successful, very good. Okay, so we could um, uh, that's all we have to do. I'm sorry. Um, so it's uh, it's all in here. Uh, we could kind of take a look at things that are in in here. See if there's any CPM looking like things in here. Uh, there's a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Z80 required. Ooh. Unpacked, packed. So anyway, looks like there's a. Uh, looks like there's all kinds of stuff in this ROM. These look like uh, CPM things. So the next step is to uh, pop it in the board and um, try it out.